Hey guys, Pixel here. A short while ago, I went to a local car boot sale and I found something special. I found what was my first ever phone. But not only that, this is a special phone from the days when phones had a camera dongle. This is the Motorola T720i, released in October 2002. The T720i features such specs like a 120x160 pixel main screen and a 96x32 pixel monochromatic screen on the outside. This is used to display information such as the time, missed phone calls, messages and more. When open, the screen displays the Motorola logo. The phone also features a notification LED, a blink screen to let you know that your phone is in service or red when there is no reception. It also flashes colours when you receive a phone call or a text message. The front screen uses the old CSTN technology which causes a lot of ghosting due to the low refresh speed and it only has 4096 colours. The screen is nice and visible out of doors in direct sunlight and in dark conditions, but in the in-between it's very hard to see. The colours are also very desaturated too, which comes into play when viewing the taken images. The phone doesn't come with many features we don't expect, like radio or Bluetooth, but it does come with some less common features, like a voice style button that actually works extremely well. Jake Hughes It also features WAP 2.0 for web browsing and a confusing ringtone composer. It also came with MotoGP, a pretty capable racing game, similar to Asphalt. Since I know you're here for the camera, let's talk about the camera attachment. If you're confused as to why this phone even needed a camera dongle, well, it's just how things used to be in the transitional period between standard phones and camera phones. There were some phones that had a built-in camera like the Sanyo 5300, but others like the Samsung A500, Nokia 72010 and the Sony Ericsson T60AI all had their own weird camera attachments. The camera attachment that the Motorola has is actually quite small in comparison to these other devices, and it also features rotation for taking selfies. Yes, seriously, Motorola had it figured out all the way back in 2002. The field of view on this camera is pretty bad and it does require you to stand back further than you'd expect to get everything in frame. The phone shoots in 320 by 240 resolution and has about 200 kilobytes for Java applets and videos. This means I can only shoot 6 pictures before I run out of storage, likely due to MotoGP and the camera app taking up a chunk of the space. The photos are between 17 to 24 kilobytes in size, making them absolutely tiny. You could fit 50 or so photos from this phone on a single floppy disk, seriously. I haven't been able to transfer the photos onto my laptop or my smartphone. I don't know if this is because of my carrier or because this phone is no longer supported, but I can't send and receive MMS messages. Both reviews I found of this phone also complain about MMS problems, so this was likely a problem with this device since release. So the best I can do is give you guys some macro images of the phone screen, as well as some test shots done by PhoneScoop back in the day. Compared to the previously mentioned phones, the T720i doesn't do the best job and I personally think it's tied between it and the Nokia in terms of picture quality. And I think it's hilarious seeing pictures from these first generation camera phones and seeing just how far we made it, having phones with built-in cameras that are better than most point shoots out there. There aren't any features or effects that can be applied, all you can do is put it into low light mode and change light frequency. The camera applet is also very slow, likely due to running on Java. The viewfinder refreshes once per second, and the pictures take a few seconds to take, which can create ghosting. But man, do these photos remind me of what phone photography used to be like? I have some photos that were shown on a camera phone, and they're just such a vibe if I may use the word. The person who I bought this phone from had the theme set to green and had this beautiful message as the start screen, and also had a picture of a dog taken on the camera. He also had a hideous ringtone, but never mind. Cancel the call. <laughs> Speaking of ringtones, man, some of these sounds this phone makes take me right back. Have a listen. I don't remember using this phone too well as I was only 5 years old at the time, but I do remember the later phone that I had, which I believe was a Motorola V500, or one of the other phones that looked just like it. That phone shared many of the sounds and ringtones of the T720i. I would love to get my hands on one in the future, one that still has the old preloaded videos on it. Also fun fact, the T720i is so old that it predates Hello Moto. The last few things to talk about. The hinge feels fantastic, the phone has a really nice snap when you close it. Phone calls from this phone also sound pretty great, which surprised me. And yeah, that's all there is for me to say for now. I would love to make looking at historically significant cell phones into a full-fledged series, so expect more from me in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.